In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this particle effect in Unity. Create a new particle system, open up the emission module, change rate of time to zero, and start creating a burst. I'm going to set the count from 10 to 30 to kind of add some variety to the particles. In the shape module, let's change the shape from cone to sphere. That will make sure the particles burst in all directions, and we're going to go ahead and set the radius to the minimum value here. Now let's go up to the base particle system module and start adding in some variety here. For the start speed, let's random between two constants of 5 and maybe let's say 1. Let's also change this start size to be between two constants. So maybe I'll make it between 0.1 and 1. This just adds a little bit more variety. Alright, we'll be back to the base module in a minute. Let's go down to the renderer module. I'm going to set the material to default sprites. That way it gives us this nice square. Back to the base module, change the start rotation to be between 0 and 90. For the start color, let's do a random color, and I'm going to use my nice gradient that I already have here. You can come up with some nice colors across the gradient here. I tend to stay away from stuff that's fully saturated and maybe go about halfway here to get this nice pastel rainbow gradient. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. There's one last trick that I find really useful with this particles. That's the limit velocity over lifetime module. This is the secret sauce to getting your burst particles to look really nice. I'm going to uncheck multiply by size, uncheck multiply by velocity, and add a small amount of dampening in here. That gives us this nice effect of the particles slowing down over time. If I want to, I can even change the speed values to kind of work with these dampen values a little bit more. Two other nice tricks to making these particles seem like they don't come out of thin air is to change the size over lifetime and the color over lifetime to either fade out via alpha or fade out via size. Let's use size. I'm going to change this particle system curve to have one big hump in the middle. Something like that. Okay, it's looking good, but it's lasting a little too long. Let's change the lifetime to about half a second. That's looking really nice. And I'll change the speed up a little bit too, so there's a minimum of 10 and maybe a maximum of like 30. Now let's change the simulation space to world so that if the particle system is moving, the particles will stay in world space, not the local space. And I'm going to set a little gravity modifier of about negative 3 so that the particles float up a little bit after they explode. Okay, that's looking great. Let's turn off looping and play on awake, and then all we need to do is call this particle system with particle system dot play. I use this effect in my games, The Machine's Garden, Tendi, and my upcoming game, Forklift Flower Pot. So check those out on Steam and follow along for more game dev stuff.